everybody to marriage the real talk tonight is going to be discussing celibacy and singleness but if this is your first time and this is your first time to marriage real talk you just joined today uh, i want you to know that marriage real talk is not just for the singles mm -mm. it's for the married it's for the divorce it's for the dating it's for the singles it's for the widows it's for everyone that is coming in and out of relationships that needs a little uplifting i think all these relationships combined um, help each other grow. So that's what Marriage Real Talk is about. And tonight is specifically for singles, but it can apply to anybody. So please um, tap on in tonight, okay? So it's a little bit of instructions I want to put into play right now because this conversation can be something that someone is waiting to hear. Um, and, and we don't want to never take it, take a take it too lightly okay because celibacy and singleness is something that can be something that is hard for someone some somebody that's not um active or anything like that it can be very long long term for that so i say all that to say i need you guys to talk back to me tonight okay talk back to me tonight is number one okay number two take heed to what applies to you in your life okay so if i'm specifically speaking on behalf of the ladies and we have some men on the line men know that it's a vice versa thing it can be applied to you as well number two don't feel defeated i know we're going to get into some things that is talking about and of course, sex is talking about the curse word in church, sex, okay? Um, and I don't want you to get defeated or uh, discouraged or any, like any of that, you know, it's all love here. It's a love zone. That's the last thing. We do this all in the name of love. So we're going to have some fun tonight, okay? Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for joining. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down a bit. Y'all let me know if it's too loud. All right, so we're going to talk celibacy and singleness celibacy in singleness okay another word for celibacy is abstinence um you know so according to oxford <laughs> celibacy is a, the state of to abstaining from marriage and sexual relations okay so so what does that mean not having sex y'all okay singles whoever is um dating and you may be in a relationship literally abstaining stopping from doing the very thing called sexual relations does that only mean intercourse absolutely not it means all the things across the board it means oral it means i don't even i'm not even like all the way hip with everything but it means everything across the board okay so i specifically want to speak to any virgins on the line right now you know sometimes in this life you know you are attacked for being the purest thing right now you know what i'm saying uh and it comes to a point where you feel like you're missing out or you feel rushed i want to encourage you right now that that is the best decision that you have going on right now is to stay pure stay a virgin um try to figure it out with god you know marriage the real talk we kind of center ourselves in on the word um, to, um topics about the word so don't get thrown off because we're talking about things concerning the word tonight um, so I just want to encourage the virgins on here. So it's very important for you to remain pure and avoid sexual ties because it comes with so much. And we're going to discuss some things, people. Uh, nothing is wrong with you, virgins. Nothing is wrong with you. You're still admirable. People, you know, someone, somewhere, some specific person God has just for you. So don't give up. Don't give up and just get it over with, you know. Um, don't have that mindset. It's, it's a trick of the enemy. He's lying. People are lying. Virgins is where it's at. Okay. Okay. And then God is saving you for a reason. So keep that in mind. My virgins on the line, God is saving you for a reason for someone specifically for you. So keep that in mind. Okay. So, um, and people may ask, you know, why are you a virgin? Tell them your truth. Tell them, Hey, you know, I just want to wait, you know, or, you know, I just don't want to, you know, indulge in anything that's out there right now. I just want to stay a virgin, you know, until I get married, you know, speak your truth. I don't know what your truth is, but speak your truth. Okay. My non virgins. I know y'all in the house. Okay. Put your right hand up two step, two step. Okay. And I'm going to just say that out of just fun because we've made the mistake. You know, we've we've given up our purity, um, my people, and I'm gonna get real real with this one. 
because sometimes the non-virgins think that we are counted out. We can't restart or something like that. Some myth, you know, that we're tainted. That's a lie. Okay, let me come here right now to tell you that's a lie. You're not counted out. You are not damaged. Let's get it correct. You are not damaged in, in, this, in this world. You are not damaged, okay? Thirdly, you are not destroyed. The things that you may have encountered, bad, good, situations after situation, you are not destroyed from your circumstances. So I want to encourage my non-virgin people that you are not counted out. Let's just put it like that and keep it like that because we're not, we're not, we're still here. We're still here, okay? Virginity is cool, Amber. Thank y'all. Talk back to me. That was one of the instructions I gave y'all at the beginning. Talk back to me. You know, I'm going to give y'all some questions in a little bit, but talk back to me. Let's make this like a watch party, even though it's not a watch party, okay? All right. The number one thing that we have in common with people that are virgins is that we have a choice. We have a choice, people. You know, the virgins, they have a choice to remain virgins, to not um, go too far into that direction of, you know, removing their purity from their entire life. You know what I'm saying? Um, and our non-virgins, we have a choice to, to abstain, to stop, to halt, to say, hey, my man, I just can't do it no more. You know, um, you have to give somebody the stop sign. Um, and that includes yourself, too. I'm not talking about just the opposite party because, you know, it's a two way street. Non-virgins on this call it's a two way street. We both know what we want. We're pretty much all on this call adults. So let's keep it all the way real on real talk. It takes two to tango, okay? So we have a choice to not open ourselves up to sexual destruction. Um, people may be asking, I mean, I thought we were talking about sellers being singleness. Absolutely. But I, I'm sure at some point you desire, some of us desire to be married. Some of us desire to date. So the key points of being celibate and single is a key point in your developmental stage into that into that relationship or into that um, platonic relationship let's kind of that and then into marriage at some point so it's very important for us to talk about these sexual disruptions distractions that we come into contact with okay so uh first things first a lot of distractions is on the internet right now so let's be very clear that we are obviously in a time where things are at our eyelids at every point, which is why we have to protect our eyes and what we view and how we look and, um, you know, just things that are uh, in, in our realm right now that gets us off task of our purity, of remaining pure, uh, of not calling that guy to not calling that girl. Um, we have to, it's like a battle each day um, for those. So. You know, it's very important for us to stay vigilant, okay? What is the pros to celibacy? I'm glad someone asked. I'm glad someone asked on here, okay? Because the pros to celibacy is that you're focused on what you should be doing. <sighs> you know, I, I feel some eyes and ears saying, you know, but I still focus when I got him. But let's be very clear. Let me put a scenario out there. You know, you know, what's that, baby? You know I gotta go to work. Okay, so he's talking on the other end, stating, "You know you got ten minutes. You know it won't be, it won't be, it will be quick. You know these are the things that will probe us to make a choice like that. And I'm not saying every girl, every guy is like this, but these are things that will take our focus away from our actual." Um, direction where we supposed to be going so let's all be real put me a hundred I see you Ariana put some hundreds in there if I'm not speaking by myself right now y'all know sometimes y'all get a call y'all get a text and it completely gets you off your game that's because a sexual distraction is in place and we have to be logical in our hearts and our minds to understand that this sexual distraction does distract us sometimes we can be honest about that okay Another thing that's a pro to being celibate is you don't have soul ties. You're completely wiped clean of the of the struggle of a soul tie. Now, people that are non-virgins, we still can battle. If we don't have Christ on our side, and I'm going to keep referencing Christ because it's the only way you can kind of distance yourself from demonic spirit because Christ knows all, sees all, conquered all. You know, so at the same time, we have to battle these things. We have to stay distance of these things. We have to know how they're coming. 
It's almost like a when you're getting ready to fight in a rink, if you're a boxer, you have to prepare for the battle, okay? So what's another pro for celibacy? <laughs> no bondage, you feel free. Let's be all the way honest, like you feel free. I hope my virgins on this line feel the same way that I'm feeling, not like uh, you're completely missing out because you're really not. But when you're celibate or, or abstinent, you feel free. It's like you feel so free. And I don't definitely know how to truly tell that to you, but you feel free, y'all. Friends, family, y'all feel free, okay? Um, anybody who's going through that, put 100 in the uh, chat. Put 100 emoji in the chat. When you went through abstaining, yes, 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 okay? So you, you don't have bondage. And then you're free from emotions. If you're a female on this line, even a male, you get in your feelings so much when you have a sexual tie that it's not even funny. You know, um, let's take, for example, he was supposed to call you at nine o'clock because he was supposed to come over. And you probably, you know, at this point, you're, you're indulging in it. You know, you're indulging in it, y'all. And we're, we're not trying to come on this line and point the finger. We're not, we're not, we're not. We're saying like we all come into contact, those that are non-virgins with this temptation here, okay? So he may call, right? Call at around nine. Um, babe, I'm gonna be late, you know. Uh, honey, I'm gonna be late. You know, I'm working late. I don't know, something. And um, so you say, cool, cool, you know, whatever. So your hopes is up. You already know what's gonna go down. It's now 10.30 and he hasn't called. She hasn't called. And, and, and you're like kind of, you kind of emotionally hurt for real or you kind of in your feelings a little bit okay and the problem with it is it's an emo it's a it's a um, y'all it's a, it's a it's a emotional drain when it comes to some connection that you have with somebody you were thinking you were wanting that connection you were wanting to just hold them tonight you may not have wanted to have any type of intercourse any type of anything with them you just wanted to be held and that was stripped away from you from a decision that he or she made. So now you're in your feelings. But why do we get in our feelings so much? You know, when we're free and not really indulging in sexually, like, cool, babe, cool, you know, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow sometime, babe. No love lost, man. I'll see you tomorrow. You know, um, because that sexual demonic spirit is not resting. It's not getting you mad. You're not in your feelings because ain't nothing keeping you tied up. Okay. So you're, you're emotionally tied, you know, but you're free from that when you become or decide to be abstinent or decide to be celibate, okay? The cons to celibacy, okay? This marriage real talk, singles the real talk, okay? You feel left out. <laughs> Dewan, I see you laughing at me. You know it's real, okay? See you tomorrow, yes. <laughs> You're fine with that. I love you guys. Just keep coming at me. I'm going to try to stay focused. I'm going to try to stay focused. Okay, so the cons to celibacy, it's not a bad thing. It's just these these fleshly things that we go through when we're when we're in celibacy. It's, it's kind of a con. It's kind of like a not feel good moment uh, in, in certain days. I wouldn't say it's often for me, per se, but, you know, you have these days. Right. Number one, you feel left out. For some reason, you feel left out. You know, you, you may be scrolling through Facebook and you seeing all these marriage proposals or you scrolling through all oh, the, let me not get started with Valentine's day. That Valentine's day can really flip your world up inside down. If you're not steady, if you're not stern, if you're not solid on the solid rock, solid rock. Okay. Christ, you know, you have to be standing strong, you guys. Um, so you have to stand strong. Okay. So some of the cons is you feel left out. Maybe, you know, it's, it's kind of like a individual thing. You may feel left out. I know I do sometimes, sometimes. Second thing, you may feel lonely. Woo. There go the L word. There go the L word. Lonely. You may feel lonely, but these are things that we have to prepare for. You know, it's like, like I said, like a boxing match. You you have to prepare for when those moments come because they're not all the time. So when it's not all the time, this is when you should be in the gym, getting ready, getting prayed up, getting your word, you know, get in this thing, get in here. This is where your strength lies. If, if anybody tell you this is where your strength lies and anybody told you otherwise, they a lie. Okay. 
Something around the lines is a lie, okay? Nothing's 100%. This word is 100% to keep you steady and steady and ready um, for those days where you may feel out, you may feel out of, you know, place, okay? So, it's a lot. It's a lot going on, okay? I want to take a pause right now. I want to read a little bit of the comments to let y'all know. And if you're watching this on the rebroadcast and you want to put in the comment, put in the comment. I will respond. Or the leader of this group, Amber Marbury, she will respond. Somebody will respond to you. So don't feel like you can't chime in to this goodness today. Okay? Sometimes it's just the desire for the companionship. Absolutely. We are in one in agreement, Dewan, for that. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes it's just... You just want to be held, you know, or you just want to talk to somebody. And I don't think in, 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 in any mind when you are single or you're celibate and dating that that just having somebody to go to dinner with is, is a crime. I don't. And I'm going to automatically tell myself I have went on a few dates where it's just out to dinner just to talk to somebody. But this is the area where you have to understand where you are. You have to understand how the enemy came at you in the past with sexual attractions and sh sexual desires or sexual conversations. Oh, don't let me play with them conversations because he may be real cool. She may be real cool. But for some reason, she's asking you or he's asking what you got on for what? Why are you asking me what I got on? Click, hang up, leave you on red. These are the things where you got to hurry up and put your stop signs up, people, friends, family. And I'm not just saying this to just say it or, oh, she on live and she not trying. No, this is real life action. These are real life things in the gym that you got to be preparing for when it comes to the game. It comes to the fight. It comes to the show. 